Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh, whoa. Welcome to episode 26. I know it's been a little bit since our last video. Unfortunately, our whole family got very sick for a good two weeks. And then we had Thanksgiving, but now we're back on track. In this episode, we hit up a big church sale. We got a lot of great stuff. So let's get into it and show you what we got. said it started at 8 but they already let people in which is a little frustrating but that's okay good morning good morning Thank you. 
slide this two pieces of thing right there. Oh, yeah.
Diamond out. They hope it's a diamond. I already got it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Chopsticks.
I have been already up there. There was some treasures up there. There was. you would think with all, all yeah. this stuff. We've got CDs and DVDs and maybe amongst the DVDs. Yeah. There's some video stuff over here. Okay. So I went to a church rummage sale. It's usually one of the better ones. However, you know, it said it started at eight. I came like 10 or 15 minutes early and they'd already been letting people in. Not trying to be petty. You know, they can do whatever they want. But I think as far as vintage items go, a lot of that got scooped up immediately. I saw people walking out with like, Halloween blow molds and glassware that I definitely would have been interested in. So didn't get a whole lot of vintage today, but when you see there's things to buy to make money, went ahead and bought it, even though it's not in my usual purview of things that I would prefer to buy. So let's take a look at what I got. 
All right, they had a whole separate room full of art and jewelry. So I bought what I thought was interesting. This is a long um, designer, it's not real gold necklace. I think it's called like Vendome. Usually I look for if things are signed. It just makes it easier to know what they are, if they're worth something. Because there's a lot of costume jewelry that's just junk, and then there's some that's not junk. But it just makes it easier for me, so I tend to buy the things that have uh, labels on it. I thought this necklace was so cool. It's wood. It's got like a 70s, 80s vibe to it. Carved flowers and then matching earrings that went with it. So cute. Then this... I thought was really interesting it's like a woven gold uh like statement necklace this is something i would wear if i was going out but i thought that was nice and that doesn't have a label on it but if they're interesting enough i'll grab them then i got two necklace pendants and all of these things were about i don't know a dollar or two so I could tell just by looking at these that they were sterling and then they are in fact marked on the back, on the back uh, 925. So two sterling silver necklace pendants. Looks like one is turquoise and one maybe is onyx. And then this uh, beaded braided necklace. I think there were a couple of other things I bought. I just can't find them at the moment. All right, then I bought this Wedgwood Peter Rabbit cup. And this is a replacement for a larger set that has a bowl and I think two plates with it. And the replacement goes for, I don't know, $20, $25. They also had a couple of other Wedgwood pieces, Jasperware, which is blue and it has like a cameo look to it. And I was going to buy two of those pieces, however they wanted $10 each, and people think those are really valuable, and actually the market is pretty saturated with the Wedgwood Jasper wear, so I didn't buy it at $10 each, there wasn't enough profit on top of that. Alright, so I got this Cloisonne ceramic egg ornament. Cloisonne is this metal enameled look. You'll notice cloisonne right away because you can feel it and it's very distinctive. People love these cloisonne pieces and collect cloisonne specifically. So this ornament could be like, I don't know, 10 to $30. I'm not exactly sure, but usually we've sold these for around $20. So somewhere in that range. I also got this mid-century glazed planter. I'm a sucker for mid-century and especially planters. I don't know why. They're not especially expensive. They're not especially desirable. I just like their look. I think it's cool. I'll probably put this in my booth uh, for about $15. And I got this little carved wooden bird. We've actually done really well with carved wooden birds if they are of nicer quality so maybe twenty dollars for this oh he's got a little damage on him so maybe not might put him in my booth he's got really cool feet the one antique piece that i did find i paid three dollars for this and it's three separate pieces. We've got the, the oil lamp, which has an Eagle brand on it, oil lamp, and then the bracket that this hangs on the wall, and this cast iron holder for the oil lamp, so like a sconce that you can also rotate. So that is a definite antique. It looks like it might have been painted over. That's not the end of the world. Um, so this piece fits in right here doesn't have the glass globe on that but that's an easily replaceable so we have this listed for like $75 for this whole set 
right then i got a bunch of new in the box things um this these are all pier one canvas this is a director's chair cover and a cotton blind so i think these are each about twenty dollars a piece i got these candles specifically because sometimes i buy things that only hold these really thin candles and i like to stage them so you can see how it looks brand new in the box hot tools uh hair straightener flat iron that's like twenty dollars this catchphrase game brand new in the box twenty dollars Von Chef um, mixer, brand new in the box. That's another twenty to thirty dollars. Okay, another new thing in the box is this Nod Pod weighted blanket for your eyes. That's like twenty dollars. I'm probably gonna keep that. I've got two kids. Anything to help me sleep better would be nice. Okay, in the back is this Galileo thermometer. So the little glass. Um, bubbles will sink to the bottom and tell you the temperature. That's like $20. I'm putting that in my booth. I do not want to ship that. And then I paid $10 for this Singer sewing machine. I thought it was new um, because I looked in and, oh, look, it looks new. It is not new, but it does have all the packaging and it looks fairly um, lightly used. You can see the pedal in there. And pre-owned, these are going for like $75 to $100. I paid $10 for that. Grabbed all these packaging supplies. I will buy those if they're cheap. We package things every single day. So, you know, I think I paid like a dollar for all of them. So if I can recycle packaging supplies or just find them really cheap, I will definitely get those because they will be used really quickly. So the random star of the show of everything I bought is this Little People set. I got it for my kids. They've already played with it and lost interest. So value-wise, I was surprised. There's this set called Twas the Night Before Christmas, and it is this Christmas tree and a Santa sleigh and all the reindeers and Santa here he is so it has all the pieces except it's missing one accessory and these sell anywhere from 75 to 100 dollars for this individual set and then I have a couple of other sets that were in here there was like a, a Christmas train yep Christmas train and some other Christmas pieces. So this set alone is $75, $80. There you go. So it lights up, it works. And then the other ones are like $20 to $30. You can also part out the individual pieces people are looking for, you know, just the replacement pieces. So probably in this box alone, I think I paid like $5. Um, is probably $125 to $150 worth of little people. I did not know this set was that desirable. Not a lot of them are, but you just never know. And so, you know, if it's cheap enough, why not take a gamble? Especially if my kids would play with it anyways. So, why not? So, my total spend on everything was... Um, I spent about $30 on jewelry. And like I said, there were some more that um, I just... I don't even know where I put it. So about $30 on jewelry. And then I think $40 on all the other things that I showed you. And then I bought two pieces of furniture. One which is already in my booth. I spent $50 on this gorgeous wooden dresser. Maybe we can throw up a picture. And hoping to get $200 for that. And another little cabinet I'm planning on keeping. So total spend was about... $120 and including two pieces of furniture so that's not bad and you know just this set alone should be $120 which is shocking as always visit our store at coastalresaletherapy.com the link will be posted in the description don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time